السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear student of first prep We are going to answer model of ministry exams We will start with exam 1 And we will illustrate all the exams Three exams we have in science And we will answer them Let's start Okay, choose the correct answer All the questions we have They are MCQ or we call them choose questions okay we will start with model one we have here the liquid element whose molecule contain one atom only okay we said that we have three kinds of elements we have elements that consist of one atom and we called it monoatomic element we have solid all metals are one atom so they are called monoatomic metals all solids are monoatomic okay we have only one liquid that consists of one atom or called the monoatomic element we have here what we called what mercury okay also we called it the only liquid metal we have mercury but if we ha if we say that we have liquid and consists of two atoms here we have bromine liquid that consists of two atoms or called diatomic element we have bromine okay and the last one we have triatomic element we have only one element ozone is consists of three oxygen atoms we called it triatomic element okay let's go to question number two the third energy level m saturated with what number of electrons okay we want to know the number of electrons according to the rule we have first energy level according to the rule 2n power 2 we have first energy level remove n by 1 okay 1 power 2 okay we'll give 1 1 time 2 so it will have in first energy level k we have two electrons second energy level remove n and put 2 power 2 will give 4 time 2 will giving 8 electrons okay we have K L M M is the third energy level so if we remove N and put 3 power 2 time 2 we will have 18 electrons so the third energy level M well saturated by 18 electrons according to the rule we have and the last one fourth energy level that applying the rule 2 N power 2 remove n and put 4 power 2 time 2 will giving 32 electrons so we have k saturated with 2 electrons l saturated with 8 electrons m saturated with 18 electrons and o k l m n n we have here we 32 electrons okay we are going to question number three smallest part of matter which can exist freely is okay if we want to have the simplest form of matter okay and carry all the properties of matter and we can't exist and it represent or we can say it is only what it is only element it is only what molecule okay smallest part of matter which can exist freely and carry the properties of matter if we are going to say we have oxygen in air what is the form of oxygen here we have we have what we have molecule as its molecule consists of two oxygen atoms also when we are talking about nitrogen nitrogen it is an element but if we talking about can exist freely it is the shape of matter that can the substance or matter exist okay we have oxygen is element also it is what is the shape of matter that can move freely here two atoms two atoms of nitrogen two atoms forming what forming a molecule of nitrogen and represent all the molecules or represent all the matter of what of nitrogen gas okay I think we have some questions we must concentrate when we answer this let's go to question number four okay question number four says that 
work done during the motion of an object is okay we said we have two kinds of motion motion during the as the body stored inside it we called it what we called it potential energy and when the body move or making a work to move or to move to make a motion we called it what we called it kinetic energy we called it what kinetic energy and sum of two kinetic and the potential energies we called them what we called them mechanical energy it is the law of conservation of energy question number five here the heat transfer by radiation occurs in okay if we say we have three kinds of heat transference we have conduction convection and radiation conduction illustrate only for the solid substance convection liquid and some gases and radiation for gases and also space so if we have a kind of material like what like the sun rays it can move in space outside the air and move also outside the earth and also it can transfer to the earth through the air so it can move through a materialistic on the earth and non-materialistic media so the right answer here will be materialistic and the non-materialistic medium so if we have a material I can move by radiation or heat move by radiation if there is no material or there is a space only or vacuum I can move also by radiation so heat transfer by radiation through materialistic or non-materialistic medium okay let's go to question number six the number of front legs of hook is okay what is the kind of here hook we have three front legs okay we have different kinds of insects we have three pairs of legs we said we want just number of front fingers okay we won't have the number so we have here three pairs or means that we have three only number of front legs of hooks as the total of them they are six pairs of legs okay let's go to question okay that we are going to only question of the second exam we have 60 questions in each exam okay first prep we have six points of choose in each exam we have three exams we will solve the second one okay model two number one in it the number of atoms in hydrogen chloride compound okay if we said that we have here compound I don't know what is the atoms here okay or what is the number of atoms when we looking at the name of the compound we have hydrogen and also we have chloride okay what is the valency of hydrogen we said the valency of hydrogen is one and what is the valency of chlorine we said chlorine is valency one so we make the compound one atom of hydrogen and one atom of chlorine forming the compound hydrogen chloride molecule so we have here two atoms of each element okay if we answer this question we must concentrate by the valency and the number of atom if the valences are the same so we have one atom here and one atom here so the number of atoms in the compound hydrogen chloride will be two elements okay or two atoms and also two elements we have hydrogen and chlorine we have two elements and also we have two atoms here okay the same answer only in this compound okay but we must concentrate if we asking about number of atoms or number of elements okay number of elements here we have two elements and number of atoms also we have two atoms okay second one question number two in sodium atom sodium in a11 atomic number 11 electronic configuration will be okay 
if we said we have two electrons in the first energy level K and eight electron in L K L L we have eight electrons and M we have only one electron so we have K L M two eight one and we have here three energy level that filled with what with electrons so the right answer will be three energy what levels okay let's go to question number three the product of combination of two elements or more different of elements with constant weight ratio is what is the definition it is the definition of what it is the definition of compound combination of two elements or more with constant weight ratio like we have here hydrogen chloride compound we have here the definition of compound okay what is the definition of element simplest pure form of matter that can exist freely and carry the properties of matter atom it is the smallest building unit or smallest fundamental building unit of matter that exists inside the molecule okay we have here we are going to question number four okay question number four here says that stored energy inside a body due to a work done on it is called what okay we said in first exam we have work done during the motion of object we called it what kinetic energy and here we have stored energy inside the body due to work done on it we have the answer here potential energy and some mission we said potential and kinetic we called them mechanical energy okay question number five here in solar heaters solar energy is converted to okay solar energy coming from sun and we called it heater okay if we make division to the name solar coming from solar energy and heater we will convert it to heat energy okay we said we have a new name for heat energy here we have thermal energy okay so the right answer will be thermal energy let's go to question number six which of the following rodents undergoes estivation estivation means that we are going to make bury in what in summer season okay so we have here jorba jorba make, making estivation or making bury in burrows or in caves in the summer season okay we have estivation in summer season and hibernation in what in winter season okay we are going to the third exam or model three okay model three here we have also six questions in each exam okay i think uh, they are models for all kinds of total exams for our models this year okay we are going to answer model three water molecule is consists of okay we have water molecule we have two elements inside it we have hydrogen and we have what oxygen we have two hydrogen atom it's sample h2 h2o h2o we have two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen so if we are talking about elements we have here two elements if you are talking about atoms we have three atoms here we want number of elements so the right answer will be two elements okay question number two here in a molecule of uh, sorry in atom of chlorine we have chlorine 17 atomic number and the mass number 35 number of neutron is okay if we want to calculate the number of neutron here we said the smallest number at the bottom we have atomic number and we called it number of protons or number of electrons and the upper number here we called it mass number it is the number of protons and the neutrons inside the nucleus if we want to calculate the number of neutrons we will make subtraction for the biggest minus the smallest number here or 
mass number minus atomic number if we want to calculate the number of neutrons we will make subtraction to mass number minus atomic number 35 minus 17 so the right answer will be here 18 okay I think it's easy you must remember all the rules that we have discussed before simplest pure form of matter which can't decompose chemically into simpler substance what is the name of this one it is the definition for what element it is the definition for what element okay can't decompose we have element okay can exist freely and carry the properties of matter we have what molecule okay so we are going to question number four okay here we have the sum of potential and kinetic energies is okay we have here um, wrong one in the choices we have motion we will remove it and put the word mechanical in choose number a I put them I put it in a number or in a color that varies from the others as you mentioned that we have must correct it okay sum of potential and kinetic energy I said we have here in the exam one we said that definition of kinetic in exam two we said the definition of potential and here in the last one we have that definition of what of submission of potential and kinetic we said that we have what mechanical energy we said we have here mechanical energy okay it is wrong here in the exam we uh, they write a, a wrong answer motion so we will correct it we will be mechanical okay so it is the right answer number a here question number five the mechanical energy is converted into thermal okay we make a motion or mechanical or kinetic mechanical by making a motion converted into thermal so it will by making an movement we get heat energy so we make what we make a friction with your hands or with a moving body between moving body with will get thermal energy mechanical into thermal it is the right answer here friction between moving what moving bodies the last question here we have from the animal with the, without body support okay it is like a gelatinous matter or it is it don't have a vertebral column don't have vertebral column or body support from outside or inside we call them what octopus octopus like a gelatinous matter without any bones from inside or outside the body it is the last question in our exam okay it is the end of our exams of ministry education i hope you can enjoy all of these exams hope you best luck for these exams see you soon